All right, babe, we're gonna leave it like this so I can catch a couple fillets, man. Let's get it. Let's get it. As you can see, they still got a little fight in them. Hopefully I can do this as painless as possible. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> get on it. All right, so we're going to kind of cut the scenes of us like gutting the heads and stuff because it was real bloody, real bad. So this is what I've got so far off of two small ones. Not bad. Working on the fillets, getting the straps right. Straight off of there, no bone. Dipping with butter. So now we got the big one. I'm going to kind of walk you through what I kind of figured out maybe. So this is a big one. So I really don't want to mess this up on camera, y'all. So first thing first, we're just going to cut along the back strap. So with these, we already cut the head off. Um, some people do it with the head on. So we're just going to cut right down the back. Now you see that? Right along the back. You feel you like you run into a bone, just pull up some. That's all I do. Just gonna cut right down the back. Every time you feel like you're hitting a bone, just pull up, and then you can lift the meat up too, so you can see what you're working with. All right, this gonna be a good one. Oh yeah, this one's gonna be good. Go all the way down to the fin, and when I get to the fin, kind of just shoot out. Boom, and I kind of just bring it around, man. I don't know. But you can still go how you go how you please, like if you want to lift up and get in there and just, you know, slowly chop. Like I said, every time you feel like you run into a bone, just back up, start over. No need to rush, mess up meat, which I'm probably doing right now. All right, and I'm coming around. Yeah, see, I feel it. It's just so hard to grip this thing. Ooh, all right. So let's just ah, move that out the way. Hit this other side, right above the fin, and it should. All right, it's not doing what I wanted to do. So now that I have this much done, so now I kind of just open it up from the top. I just slowly cut, work my way down. I feel a bone, I pull up, and just come back a little bit. Just step back off the knife. Feel like I'm running to a bone, which I am. There we go, back on it, there we go. Probably missing a lot of meat, but we're gonna get as much as we can. We're gonna do our best, y'all. That's all we can do in life, man, is your best, that's it. Cause we young chef boy That's all you can deep. do in your life, bro, is your best. And then you can just get better, you know what I'm saying? Get this piece off right here. Knife a little dull, cause I'm cutting into that bone. Now I'm just ripping the bones. All right, good, there's no, no bones on there. All right, make sure I'm good. Boom, all right, fill it. You ain't got no bones going on, take your fork. Pinch it right there to the tail. What you want to do is kind of get your blade surface level with the skin. You know, and then you just work your way on up. Feel like you're losing some meat, take your time. Get that blade flat. Keep coming up. Keep on coming, keep coming. And then, what you have now is a big old filet, boy. Now that's a filet. That's, that's gonna be good eating right there. And then really, no but skin left. If there's some meat on there, probably didn't get close, close as I should have with the knife, but definitely. Let's see if we can make this other side do the same thing. Maybe a little quicker this time. These knives, man.
That one went through way better. Ooh, I miss a lot of meat. But we'll go back and get it if necessary, I guess. Watch your hands too, man, because and the crazy part is we have like 15 more of these to do this to. Please just come off. All right, bad. I probably can get nitpicky with this one right here because it's a little bigger. Same thing, pinch your fork down. Get your blade close to that skin and just ride it on there. Mm, missing that meat over here. Still not bad. Still not bad. Got a good piece of meat. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna finish filleting these and then we're gonna fry them up from there. So y'all wait on that. <laughs> what you mean, oh. Brody? <laughs> do like the drop. Oh, I thought he started down like do it. No. <laughs> what is he? Trying to, you know how they make those videos where they show when it's like mixed, like with the lid off and all that. All right, y'all. Yeah, so first go. thing we're gonna do is we're gonna wash your hands right quick. Give me two seconds. Thirty seconds. Bye. Two hours later. I like these paper towels because they're really thick and like you can dry your hands off multiple times. It's like a rag. What brand is it? Bounty is, or whatever? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bounty, man. We ain't, that wild. We ain't bougie though. Yes, um, that's Viva. A, yeah, that's that shit's like a good. Cloth. It's super soft. But in case you guys were wondering, paper towels are not good for the environment, but that's another thing. Okay, not. they're not good for the environment. Sorry, y'all. We're going to work on that. So, first thing we do is uh, crack a couple eggs. How many? Um, I don't know for sure, but I feel like three is a good number, right? Cause yeah. this is one egg for one pound of fish fillet, one cup of flour, two tablespoons. I'm of digging my hand oil. all in this egg. Good mm. thing I washed them. You know, you get the egg shell. I mean, you get the egg out the shell with the egg shell. That's like the trick to get it out. You want me to do another one? Should I put my hands on in there. No, you wash okay. your hands. Okay. But I'm right. I'm serious. When you get the piece of shell in there, you use the big shell to scoop it. That's like the only way. Really or you just thing. crack them right. She's the best. Thank <laughs> you. Or you just crack them right. You know what I'm saying? She get it from her husband. He be helping me out a lot with the camera. So we're just gonna go three eggs. I feel like that'll fill the bottom up enough. Boom like that. I'm gonna whisk them up so it don't look like that. And this is just so I can base my meat, mix it with the flour. So right now we got gluten-free flour, all purpose. Um, red tail. My boy Bob. Five, so five, boom. We're gonna. This is a resellable package, but we're gonna tear it open because. What's that mason jar? I don't give a damn about none of that shit. About none of that shit. Y'all heard that song? Y'all heard that song? Sing the rest of it. We can make it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we saved turtles oh, over here. <laughs> I get the metal. metal. Those things hurt you. I actually caught a turtle before. So, yeah, we're gonna put a flower in here. No measurements, no. come on, y'all. Hey, no measure. It's Real chef don't measure. We don't, cut, <laughs> we don't CPT. Cut up people's time. We don't use measurements, all right? Oh, so. right. yeah. well, you gotta put some seasoning yeah. in the flour. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry. Well, they I said, you, they said it's gonna be bleeped out. It's definitely not gonna be bleeped out. It's so, not now we're gonna get some seasoning. It's a chocolate sandwich. It's a milk honey bar. Oh, don't tell me it's a spice. Should I go garlic salt? You can do That'd accent. be good. You gotta have food. Well, seasoned salt already got a lot of salt in it, huh? You can do accent. We'll go accent. It looks so we'll go accent good instead. Too. All right, y'all. Let's see Creole. You can't have it. I can't do it. Damn. Oh, it looks so good, too. Mm -hmm. oh. Tony Sachery. That's that joint up. We're going to go Tony Sachery's. Mm -hmm. Tell me how it tastes. Hey, so, you got season on my phone. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, this is what we're going to do here. Oh, One second, y'all. Right. That makes okay. it worse. I think I need to stand <laughs> up. All right, bet. Is that like... Grab me a spoon from, and fold. Like, the reason why I beat my eggs with a fork is so I can just, you know, whisk them a little bit better, you know? So you can break down that yolk. When I go to Germany, I always bring candy. You get a solid crumb. Yeah, I always bring candy. 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 You get a solid composite. What would you say? Would you say Germany chocolate is better, or would you say um? Probably should have went straight egg whites, but you know. But German chocolate, right? No, no egg whites. You need to have the egg yolk. Just a little secret, y'all. There you go. Yeah, just a little secret. You just put a little black pepper on the eggs. Why? I don't know. Why just pepper? Every time my grandparents make eggs, grits, anything from the south, you throw a little black pepper on top. For some reason, it changes the whole flavor. So we're just gonna do that for the eggs. 
Okay. Before we bask our meat. Or base our, is it base our meat? Yeah. Yeah. Before we base our <laughs> Based. meat. Based. Right. Now we're gonna throw some Creole in here. Like we did. Bad. Throw a little Creole. <laughs> you know, are bad. Bad. When it, <laughs> so you just throw it in. When it when it comes to measurements, I honestly don't know what those are. You know, you go to a field right. If it's wrong, it's wrong. The only thing that you can mess up on and can't go back from is salt. Once it gets too salty, yeah. it's a wrap. We're gonna put a little seasoned salt in there. It's a lot of flour, so you'd be fine. A little Lowry's. I'm gonna go with some Old Bay. You need that Old Bay. If you cooking seafood and you ain't using Old Bay, you were wrong. And then we're just gonna whip this up, man. We might go one more coat because we got a lot of flour in here. And I just wanna make sure all the meat is perfectly seasoned. One more layer. All right, y'all, a little more Creole. Two times for good measures. All right, we're gonna whisk this up. And this ain't a, uh, what's that thing called, bro? The Louisiana one? Hot sauce? Oh, that's Old Bay. Bro, that's the most seasoned and salt over there y'all thought. Yo, I'm over here smoking it. We're gonna wash our hands one more time. <laughs> hands rewashed, because what happened to my all-purpose paper towel? I use it. Oh, so we got two uses out of paper okay. towel. That's pretty good. Um, <laughs> right. Come back, get another one. I always get two layers. Just two layers gonna last you all cook session, right? So back. So now we got our flour based, our eggs beat, mm -hmm. and now I'm gonna go and wash off the meat. Okay. Today we caught some crappy. Me and my boy Mitch, we didn't catch a lot of crappy. But once again, my boy 365 fishing got the best lures. And yeah, man, he got this, by far the best. Can you, can you get a close up of your? Your man's over here. I don't know how to zoom in. By far right the best lures. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This one is nasty. <laughs> you know, <really. laughs> By far the best lures. So, one more time. By right. far the best lures. Who? One more time. Who has it? By far no, the best lures. No, who? Say who. My man 365. I'm gonna try something. Yes, sir. Again, I'll let y'all know. So I'm gonna clean the meat, get all that scared away, and I'm gonna take a break from the camera because if you don't know how to clean your meat, I don't know what it tastes, but we'll be right back. I just think she got through. Fish chopped up into pieces. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to get it battered, boom, laid, and we're going to drop it in the hot grease. What kind of fish is this? This is crappy. Yeah, Black crappy. Right there. <laughs> what? It smells good. It does? Mm-hmm. Damn, that's good. Yeah. We ain't even started yet. Well, it's all that seasoning mixed together. It smells really good. You want something slow, or you want something like... You can do it. Oh, what? You want something. I got it. Have you ever... Can you put it on? Huh? What's up? Have you ever had this fish before? Have you ever eaten it? Yes, yeah, this fish is amazing. I had it a couple times actually, but I just haven't fished for it. Because, you know, mainly I fish for bass. And that's what we ate the last fish fry with. No, last time we ate trout. Oh, okay. And, uh, Rainbow trout, right? Rainbow trout and catfish. Yeah. Yep. Yes, sir. Sometimes that egg on your thing, it'll burn it. Like, um, you know, fish. the point is like that's what the slave owners used to call it. So I'm like, embracing it, whatever. I hope so. Uh, this I hope so. Used to call it Black is on point. I don't know who cut all this fish up. You know, and they were just like, I don't know who did it either. But and all this shit. I was like, get that man okay, a jizz up. Uh, like, that would have yeah. not been good. <laughs> I can see you saying that. Yeah, but this, is okay. this girl today, she told me on Facebook, she was like, well, why do you have to say your Spanish? Oh, I'm sorry, ancestry DNA. Uh, did you burn me? Hey, oh, so you know what I am now. You can hit the what red button. What was she asking? You can hit the red button. Because it was like, yeah. we were saying like... You don't got to record like all of it. Oh. Where's the red button? If you like, just want to, just hold it. You just hold it. Go ahead. Like, well, record whatever you want right now. It don't matter. I was like, I'm not saying. And then she, she didn't even follow me, right? She, because I was in a... It do room. smell all right. I don't you know if that's that. You smell that. It's good. Unless it's the grease. No, I think it's this. Once you mix it up, I can smell it. I'm sorry, I'm like, you know, you know, that. Right, right? I'm like, that was the most perceptionist thing. Like, like you know, you're bad or good when your fingers get like this. Perception. Let me see. Yeah, because there's. Okay, yeah, I am. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry I got you doing it. Shoot, I ain't going over it. They have snow mode. They even got me on the camera. No, it's fun. They're very light skinned and they have colored eyes. They have blonde hair and shit. See, that's, see that I, haven't, I haven't seen this long hair yet, but that's true though. Alright, let's drop these into grease. 
Get my boy Mitch right quick. You know, know, hey, chopping up the meat, you know? Chopping it up. Chopping it up. Yes, sir. Right here, we got the grease. Yeah. Yeah. You can make white people, and they have the texture of white people here, too. But they're completely opposite. Damn, that one need a little more flour. Nice straight, go ahead. You can just put it in the next batch. Ooh, shit. My fingers is little flower bombs, too. Who is that all up on my shoulder? Is that Rob? Yes, my brother. How y'all doing? <laughs> mm. Smelling good, brother. It do? That's what you said, too. You got all that seasoning. Yeah, I'm like, it don't smell like fish. I can tell you that, right? It smells good. All right, y'all, y'all ready? I'm ready. You got to look at me? All right, y'all, y'all ready? This is the moment of truth. You ready? Let's get it. All right. Shh. Look, they had a slight sizzle, right? That one like the sizzle you should have had, right? All right, we'll catch y'all when we get back. I need you to get him. Good, 2016. You was? Right. You probably yeah, hanging out with him. I'm uh, surprised I've never I seen. So, I'm surprised you're you done. Let me show you how you know it's done. When it starts floating like that, you'll see him all over. That's how you know it's done being fried. So we're gonna pull these out. They don't got the golden crisp look on them, but hey, man, you can have me that. Uh, well, my hands are Damn, go ahead. Yeah. Hold on, now you good, bro? Come get his damn dish. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, why are you so disrespectful? I got it. I was gonna say she, she the king. But I don't like Popeye's chicken tenders, low key. Hey, no cap. Judge all. Okay, ready? Are you recording? You the red button. Mm. It needs some. Talk damn, to what honest. happened to your thumb? It needs some? You got slammed in the door. Yeah, it does. It needs some more seasoning. <laughs> when he was a kid. All right, more seasoning, oh, y'all. That's a good you answer. You know why? Because you can always add to, but you can't take away when it comes to cooking. Y'all remember that. She put bad So what are you going to put in here? <laughs> it needs more spice. Ooh. Shit, you don't got to tell me twice. Spice. <laughs> 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 spice. spice. I don't even need more Lowry's. It's hey, not look. salt, babe. It's spice, babe. Hey, Kiana, can you, can you check the ones I got in there? Can, what? Can you check those ones I got in there when you get done? It hasn't been long enough. You think so? No. You left the other ones in there. Should I put some more in there? Alright, y'all. Second best in the oven. What's the lotto pick salt. numbers, by the way? <coughs> lotto pick numbers are get myself to 1K. I love y'all. Let's put back some of these. Well, this, no, I said the other one's kind of mushy. Alright, y'all, look. They've been damn fish. I'll bleep that out. Hate on my fish all the time. But now we're going to go back around. This second round, we cooked it. Let's see what they say. Mm -hmm. I thought it was good. Keanu, what's your name? Be honest, you ain't got a lot. Yeah. Um, it was right, good. Yeah, yeah, come on. It was good. You said it was salty. It was salty. All right, thank no, you. No, it wasn't. I didn't taste any salt, and honestly, I think it could be saltier. I can taste Whoa. the flavor of the seasoning, but it's not salty. Right. Okay, okay, okay. I thought it was good. Yes. All right, all right. You can I still love you? Yeah, you do. Boy, you know that joint was perfect. Oh, that's all. We all know. What you think, bro? I'm not going to cap. I like oh. my shit spicy. It could have a little bit more heat. <laughs> a little bit more heat. Here's some hot sauce for you. Right, a little bit more heat. Bro, a little bit more heat. I ain't got none, none of my ingredients come with heat. <laughs> but throw some cayenne in it or something. Throw some no, cayenne. It's good. All right, man. It's All right. Good. Round three, y'all. We're going to get right. This texture Ready? is Fight. really good, too. That's ours. Oh, got nasty attitude. Yo, so okay. we're going to close the video out. Hope y'all enjoyed it, man. Kiss and cook with your boy last oh. night, easy. Uh, make sure you hit the sub button, make sure you hit the like, all that good stuff. Bye, Jace. Be good. And y'all catch on the water, man. Yerp.